Um, I just wanted to come on here. I'm feeling um, not too well today in a lot of different ways, but I'll spare you the details. I wanted to come on here and explain the Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day slash Wave of Light that I have mentioned in previous videos. I'm sorry I'm all up in your face and so close. I just, uh, I didn't feel like putting myself together for a video, which I barely do anyway, but um, October 15th, which is tomorrow, Sunday, is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day. Um, I have seen uh, websites or web pages or whatever announce that October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. For 13 years, I was not aware that we had our month uh, just that day. So unless they have changed that, and I have heard nothing of it because they do <clears throat> different presidents, different um, organizations uh, get things passed. Um, for example, when Andrew was uh, stillborn in 04, I got a death certificate. And now in the state of Texas, uh, you get a birth certificate. And it just states that the child was born deceased, but it is a birth certificate, not a death certificate. Um, you know, so different lawmakers get different things passed. So I don't, I'm not aware if that's changed, but the 15th uh, is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day. And the wave of light, which I have said I would explain in a video as it got closer to the time, um, which is uh, tomorrow. Uh, but it also depends on your time zone when the 15th is. Uh, if you've been touched in any way by child loss, being you've lost a child, you've lost a grandchild, um, a cousin, niece, nephew, even if you have not personally been touched by child loss or infant loss, um, I, I have always, of course, special occasions connected with Andrew, I've always lit a candle anyway. Um, but light a candle and keep it lit if every time zone uh, has a candle lit for at least an hour or longer um, it would be a continuous wave <coughs> sorry wave of light um, meaning there would be a candle lit for every lost child in every time zone there'd be some, there'd be one lit and we'll sit on but you know what I'm talking about um, so it's a symbolic type thing as well as um, I know a lot of people um, like candles when they pray um, special occasions like I had mentioned um, like the day that Andrew passed and then I delivered him 10 days later. His story, as uh, if you go into the playlist, there's part one and part two, uh, which I tell about it. But he was delivered 10 days later. So he has a date of death and a date of delivery, which is his birth date slash angel day. But anyway, so that is what the wave of light is. If everyone um, will light a candle for at least an hour sometime tomorrow in no matter what, where you live, what country in this world that you live in, um, there will be a continuous wave of light. So that's what it is. If you go to, I'm, I'm doing horrible. I'm hurting and I'm um, just not doing well today. So I'm really doing a, a poopy job of explaining it. But uh, if you go to, like I said, October 15th, make sure you put the th.com. It will explain the wave of light as well as other websites. But anyway, um, so I will be doing this um, for my son as well as grandchildren that I've lost. Um, and earlier losses that I've had. But anyway, so that's it. That's what it is. Um, 
it would be appreciated probably by every parent who has ever lost a child or is connected to child loss if uh, if you light a candle it's a, it just requires one hour and uh, anyway so that is all I'm feeling rough need some prayers today um, physically I'm feeling bad <coughs> excuse me it's uh, heart related congestive heart failure related and it could be my lung I have sarcoidosis as well so I've got a whole lot of stuff and um, I don't want to go to the doctor I don't want to go to the doctor um, so I'm just going to stay in bed all day and watch movies because Roku now wait this has nothing to do with the video so they have their own channel that's all I gotta say okay um so anyway, I said I would put out a uh, video explaining it, and I did, and I did a poor job, and I apologize. I'm very scattered at the moment, because I'm just not feeling it. But anyway, um, God bless you guys, and talk to you soon.